How you woofing doing? It's Jake the Dog here. In today's video, Lilith just today released the update 1.0.57 highlights video, which says it will showcase the new game mode that was announced as well as the new range combat that we will be able to utilize with our siege units so if i look into the description it says that this patch is called the museum of windows and i heard some rumors from people in my community that they may be releasing new museum relics so hopefully that gets announced here as it should as it's literally says museum in the title without further ado let's get started new update there, no, no, no. Let's go. Hi, Governors. Welcome back to Hello. another video. I'm Leo. Hello, Today, Leo. We'll be going over the next update Museum of Wonders. What are you looking at? Museum All right. days here. Participate. All right. So, first, it Museum looks like we have a precious Museum? pottery event. Days here. Which just basically seems like another 8K gems event. But it looks like on this screen that we get these three unique chests, which it seems that that second one will consist of speed ups. But I have no clue what that first one and third one would be. So I'm actually really interested to hear about those. Of events and, receive rewards. and Mastercraft. The Mastercraft is how you get those special equipments to obtain. But then it seems that we have this new pursuit of knowledge quest which seems like it's just more quests for you to complete which you will get rewards out of these different treasure chests epic city theme choice chests already so okay so the one chest is an epic theme choice city and if you don't need any of these which i actually do need some like the style of sung is really old you will get 2000 gems will be converted into gems I want to know what that second one is. It's called War of the Ruins. And here they're going to start talking about the new game mode, War of the Ruins, which seems to be a battle royale game mode, which I'm personally really excited about. I always thought that in Champions Olympia, you should only be controlling one march. So this is a great the idea. Governors will enter the map solo. Okay. You may select one troop to enter each battle, and units will be provided for you. To enter the battlefield, your city hall must be at least level 7. Mercenaries will appear on the battlefield. Lead your troop toward them to recruit them and gain more units. After defeating other governor's troops, you can integrate their units into your troop. Troops okay. on the battlefield will periodically be granted on a random skill. The last troop left standing will be victorious. That's a unique I idea as well. It's a game mode that's completely free for us so there's gonna be a lot of strategy on top of not just choosing the best commander pale new ranged combat added in season of conquest governors taking part in this new kvk can command oh. siege units to build arrow towers allowing you to attack enemy troops from long distances and there are also new alliance arrow towers crusader flags can now be turned into alliance arrow towers which automatically attack nearby non-friendly cities okay so i want to look back at this so this seems to be how we will be able to utilize oh, siege i don't know if we'll be able to use this all the time or only in the specific kvk's it's allowed in but i think this is just a great idea as siege never has any utility especially on the battlefield but now siege will actually be critical because you can put like lines of siege in your territory or in a very secure lo location and it can help you secure areas on the map where if you didn't have the field you might not be Government able to otherwise to kvk can command siege units to build arrow towers allowing you to attack enemy troops from long distances there are also new alliance air and then we have these air towers which they showed the only thing that i don't understand is what how can, like they shouldn't be able to attack cities that are shielded but when it is attacking cities like is it actually filling up their hospital is it giving them dead or is it just trying to burn their city to to make their city teleport out of there i would really like 
to know. Towers. Crusader flags can now be turned into Alliance Arrow Towers, which automatically attack nearby non-friendly cities. But that still is a is a good idea. I don't know if like pulling it into that range thing is like will make it harder to defend the flag or anything it has to have some type of disadvantage but if you have a situation where you are pushing your your enemies or you're trying to take over like how they're trying to take a fort people can just sit there for 24 hours but now they actually have to be worried that they're you're not always safe on alliance territory now and that will change change the game we have also added a new commander filtering system, allowing Ooh. you to filter commanders. Oh, and now they added a, a more advanced sorting system. This has always been needed. I think this, uh, this is really great, actually. I wasn't expecting them to go this in depth with it, and I had no idea they were ever going to do this, but this is just a great change for whenever you're, you're, you don't want to go through all your commanders. And that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think about this update. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Alright, okay, that's it. So although it's called the Museum of Windows, there was nothing to do with the museum. But anyways, we're just gonna look back over what they talked about. So first... They were showing off a new holiday event. I said I thought it was the AK Gems event, but it's not the AK Gems event. It's the one where your alliance is all contributing, as you can see from the rankings up here. But what was more important is what is additionally now added for rewards is a specific city theme or like 2K Gems. I don't know what the second one is, could be speed ups, and they still didn't tell us what this third one is. So you can see from here, epic theme choice chest, you either get the frozen city, the trick or treat, or the sour song, which I believe are very old city skins for each troop type. And I would really like to know what is out, out of this second green chest. On top of the precious pottery event over here, they also added more quests for us to do which will lead to more rewards they didn't show us what rewards we will get but i'm hoping that this golden chest reward will actually be worth our time because a hundred percent completing some events the rewards are not even worth it the second thing they went over was the new War of the Ruins game mode. This is a battle royale where you select your one best march. You will go around the map either trying to find patches of army on the maps that are NPCs that you can recruit and make your march bigger or you can try to find the other governors in your match defeat them and you can take their troops as well and you're trying to be the last one alive and then lastly they were then talking about the new range combat so they didn't really showcase how you even start to build this tower but it seems that you straight up decide where you want to place it you can see your radius so you know if you're getting into the enemy's territory or whatever just having correct positioning and Only then once combat. you decide your march will then walk there and then do it automatically which i think is really cool and i think this will just be a huge game changer as if you are losing and being pushed back you can put siege in the back to kill people who are overextending if you're pushing your enemies and you have the field you can establish a line of range this just adds a whole new game of strategy that you can utilize on the field and on top of you being able to make your own watchtower you also can turn your flags into a tower which will attack nearby cities in a pretty big radius even if they're shielded so you now can't sit on forts 24 hours can't sit on flags for forever and just sit like a sitting duck you actually have to always be on the edge of your seat anyways that is update 1.0 
0.57 the museum of windows which i don't understand because there was nothing to do with the museum in this update but i'm actually really excited for new game modes um, but i'm really excited for this new battle royale game mode i personally love battle royales and i love even more we only have to use one march which is how i think champions of olympia should be but i'm even more excited for these siege range combat as this change changes the whole game adds a whole new strategy you can utilize with your siege units anyways if you guys enjoyed this video my review and my opinions please consider slapping that like button subscribing and putting on post notifications so you can always stay tuned and as well if i missed anything or you have any questions concerns or just want to tell me your thoughts please let me know in the comments down below as well in the description check out my discord server i would love to have you a part of my community anyways leaving at that i hope that you wonderful people have a good woofing day bye bye making pancakes making bacon pancakes take some bacon and i'll put it in a pancake bacon pancakes that's what it's gonna make bacon pancakes